What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Infinite Magic Raid, and today we're going to be building a hero that is very, very important, especially if you're going for Lucifer or you're going to push in the Red Mark uh, Tower. It's very, very important to build this hero because he's really the only supporter when it comes to this specific faction. Let's actually go over, I'm going to show you in the gallery again real quick. We talked about it previously the other day, supporters... We're going to go all the way down here. Actually, we can just go by red mark and we can show you. Yes, you have Catherine here. Yes, you have like, uh, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> you have Wim. Wim's here somewhere. Wait, why is Wim not showing up? Oh, because he's a defense hero. Defense hero, a little bit different uh, than support. But I'm going to go with Magus. I'm going to, Magus, Magus, we're, Magus, Magus. We're going with Magus. Uh, he's one of the only healers, and he is an epic hero. So it's someone to very, very important to keep. He also has turn meter reduction, which is cool. Uh, we're going to see how far up we can get his abilities because he is going to be a work in progress but today is going to start that progress we do have two copies of him and we can give him like an aura and things like that so let's get him awakened that's the first step right here i don't know how far we can awaken him um we do have quite a bit of food because i finally used all my like arena shop stuff i don't think he's going to get all the way maxed out it'll be close I don't know if we have 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh my god, I think we literally just have enough because we're literally feeding every other epic off. <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, we got some uh we got some legends we need to lock down. So yeah, no, we got them all the way up to A5. That is amazing. Uh while we're on the topic, let's just make sure all of you are locked because I don't want to feed any legends. Timmy, Timmy might be a good build for the faction as well because he can get rid of those shields, which is very, very convenient. Lock down more of these hero copies. Our Eric, man, I just wish we could build more heroes. Now, for the next part, we are going to go to his exclusive. We have an extra copy of him, which we can unlock and feed in here, which is great. Uh, this is going to be really good for his abilities as well, getting extra healing effects, etc., giving cleanse to his abilities and of course is giving him more speed which is great which is just amazing how fast epics can go like in pvp as well we're going to give him just a basic aura and i think we're just going to go with like healing effect go with something basic we're cool with that uh after that we're going to just save the resources because those are going to go to someone else. Skill upgrade. This is the one that's going to be a little shady right now because we just used 30 of them on our main hero, Lucifer, which probably in retrospect was a mistake, but it's not going to take us long to grind this back up. We actually got this one really low, which is really good. Um, yeah, that's actually really solid. Wow. We, we get both of those. Uh, so we're going to need, what, four, eight? nine ten ten more of them that shouldn't be too hard to get and equipment so we've been piling up some of the speed hit effect healing and i think that's what we want to run here i think i think um actually hold on do we when a skill is released he has a six percent chance to grant himself a layer of heal i don't know i mean it, it will go up to 100 percent, so we don't really have to worry about hit effect Really, like, healing and HP would be the best. Speed hit effect healing, I mean, maybe. We do have some decent gear already kind of, like, built up. Healing effect, HP. I mean, HP seems like it would be a really good stat on him, but so does speed. Kind of like that, 15% HP rate. That seems really solid for the ring slot. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead. Let's enhance him a full set of gear. If we can get some HP, defense rate, and speed, that would be awesome. Don't hit attack. Just don't hit HP. Just get a nice... Yeah, that's a perfect... Yeah, we'll just go <laughs> straight across the board with that. Uh, healing, effect res. Those are both really good stats. Just don't hit crit damage. And give us like HP as the last one. Going higher on effect res is solid and healing effect. Wow, effect hit, not really that useful, but hey, it's not too bad. 
And then boots, 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 boots. Healing effect, HP rate, healing effect, effect res. Kind of like that one better. I like the HP and defense rate. I think we're going to go with the healing effect, though. I think healing effect is going to be one of the most important things for this hero to have because we already have a lot of shielding. We're going to have to drop a damage dealer for our red mark tower. Crit damage, not the best, but hey, we actually get to equip all this stuff, too, which is pretty solid. Now. Definitely want an HP piece of gear. <laughs> That's going to be something we definitely want. Attack isn't great. HP rate and defense seems pretty solid. Let's enhance this one up. Let's hit HP rate and defense. Come on, don't hit crit damage. Perfect. One more HP rate. Uh, defense, that's all right. And then defense rate. Yeah, that's that's pretty solid. I'll take it. Uh, we've got a lot of good pieces. We have attack. No, definitely, definitely don't want attack. We want another HP piece. <laughs> defense and defense rate. I kind of like that. Yeah, let's just go with this. Maybe we'll hit an HP roll, and this will be like one of the tankiest blood drums you have ever seen. Crit rate, not great. Mastery, not great. But I think it's still probably going to be one of our better ones to use. Yeah, Xalance is offensive. Let's go with that. And then lastly, let's do the same thing down here. Go with another HP one. Well, maybe not. We do have higher tiers of defense with HP rate on it. That one's not great. I mean, speed? Maybe speed with HP and HP rate? That's not bad. That's a pretty decent setup for him, right? Can't really complain about that. Uh, levels are gonna be an issue, maybe. Yeah, 141 is the max we can get him to right now. Uh, yeah, we'll just tap him out. 141, not too bad. So there are some things we got to work on. One thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work on our emblems because emblems give you a ton of power as well. Uh, that's going to give us a lot of completion down here for hero training goals, which is sweet. And actually, sanctuary as well. I think that's the first wizard eye we built, right? Yeah, let's just chuck him down here. Oh, actually, te technically the second. A lot of bonus stats coming to our account, which I do like. Um, Anything else we're going to upgrade on him right now? One more skill scroll. Hey, we hit the active ability. That's really cool. Uh, I think he's good. The other thing we we're going to do now that we got his aura done, we're just going to keep going and crafting on to work towards our upgrades oh we still only have three or seven of three we need that so bad so that we can keep enhancing our lucifer i want to get this turn meter up as fast as possible honestly i'd even spend to probably get this up but sadly our flash packs are just not hitting the right one it's on six Feels bad. I don't know actually if it goes lower. We'll have to see. But uh, we can give it one attempt real quick in Tower of Mark. I don't know if he's going to be strong enough right now. We're going to take you out, throw you in. We're going to stick to our two single target damage dealers because that's what we really, really need on this wave. And if we can keep our heroes alive, I think we'll be in a good spot. I don't think damage was our issue. I really just think our, our our defense our defense needs to be stronger and now with magus that could be a huge one he actually goes first which is surprising um yeah i guess we'll do it like that i think we'll save the counterattacks for the next round get a nice heal going we're gonna save that like i said for the next round Actually, you know, let's pick that. Oh, wow. Hold on. Did I just did I actually just not crit right there? Is that what happened? Um, yeah, may just get a heal on everybody. I'll take that. If this takes a few rounds, it's not a big deal in my opinion. Just keeping our team healthy. And now that we have a heal ability too, beyond just our shielding abilities, that's going to be absolutely huge for our team. I'm going to go ahead and shield again just because yeah it should be fine doing it like this and then we can get our turn meters reset on everybody yeah i like that because now we have like almost all our skills up here we're gonna go with i think this is like yeah we don't need to do that
Giving them a heal effect might not be bad when it comes to their turn. We're going to use our counterattack this time so that we just like completely wipe out this wave and don't take much damage. I think that's the play here. And if we do come to our turn, we'll have a little bit of heal on a lot of these heroes, which is good. Almost killing them off, so not bad. That was a good save of the counterattacks. I'm going to try to save up his ability too. Main active. Let's now get a big heal off. Top everybody off, which I like. Yeesh, that's a lot of damage, but the counterattack got the victory. Okay, so we are in a very healthy state. Hopefully, we can keep this up. Let's lower that turn meter a little bit. Let us get some more defense up before she goes, because we don't need her killing one of our targets here. And he's going to get an active next round anyway, so I don't want to try to kill off too many. Yeah, I just want to weaken them. Get us ready to go. And now we have some heal effects going out. This should be pretty solid. Uh, I think what we need to do, though, I think we need to get them low. And he's going to get another turn right here. Counterattack's going to account for a lot of damage here as well. We want him to get a revive, but not kill the targets yet. So get your revive ability. Okay, now we can go crazy on damage. Hopefully we can get a good heal. Oh, no, mages, 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 mages. Don't. Don't you die here, mages. We need you alive. This is where we're going to be able to do. Oh, no, he did go down. We really needed him alive. We do get our counterattacks, and now we get some really, really big damage onto the boss here. But without that heal, oh, he does need to get stronger. That is definitely, yeah. We definitely need the mages stronger. So we're going to wait. We're going to come back to this. Hopefully, we can get floor 26 done. That would be absolutely amazing. And uh, we'll be able to highlight him a little bit more. But we do need his emblems. And his emblems are going to give him so much damage reduction, support, and all that fun stuff. So let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you have saved mages on your account. You probably should, especially if you're going for a Lucifer hero as your first mythic. See you guys next time.